this year, the Military Cyber Professional Association is holding their first Cyber Capture the Flag event to raise money for STEM scholarships. Joining us is President of the St. Louis Chapter, MCPA, Paul Jordan, and Event Coordinator, Raymond Evans. Gentlemen, what a pleasure to have you here today. Thanks for having us. So you have to tell us what exactly is your organization? What do you do? Great. So the, uh, the MCPA is the national organization, and we're standing up the St. Louis Chapter. It actually started as a couple of us getting together uh, every other week in the club uh, on Scott Air Force Base. <coughs> uh, so there's a couple cyber squadrons standing up out there. And uh, we, we realized that there was a lack of a professional association for our community, the cyber um, community. And so we wanted to fill that need. And uh, we started with maybe 10 people. Um, and we were contacted by the national organization and asked to stand up a St. Louis chapter. And we said, of course, we've already, we've already been working on something that's kind of like this. We, we're doing the same stuff that you're doing. Um, we, we would love to. And so that was about a year ago right now. Um, and so we've covered a lot of ground in the last year. We're, we're starting with this event. Uh, we're having this event uh, this coming weekend um, to kind of kick it off. We're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> but, you know, why is it so important for, what, for you to do what you do? Right. So the... Uh, the cyber community, right, the cybersecurity community, um, has kind of lacked a professional association for some time. It's kind of been considered a, a hobby or a, a smaller a community, not necessarily a profession. Um, and so professional development is a big part of what we do in the military. Um, and so having a professional association to kind of solidify that, hold events where we, we invite senior leaders and speakers out to talk to the group, um, and then in general develop the, the cyber profession. Education is also a large part of um, why it's important that this organization exists. Um, yes, it's important to go out and um, legitimize yourself and become a professional organization, but it's also important to get messages out to people that are becoming more important in our everyday life. Um, messages um, like how proper cybersecurity and um, how to protect yourself when you're traversing the internet. So what's the difference that you think being educated, as you put it, could make in the life of someone who is being educated? Uh, it's the difference between having good credit and having all your money to somebody else having your credit and having your money. What? <laughs> now say that in terms that anybody could understand. Um, identity theft. Okay. Um, learning proper cybersecurity can help you prevent identity theft. Um, if somebody, if somebody has your passwords, they have the keys to your life, because everything that we hold dear to us now are is held on the internet. Wow. <laughs> And just pause for a moment there because it's true what you said. So what you're saying is that your organization has decided that you need to educate people and how to protect themselves better. Right. And that's why people shouldn't really look at attending your event. Right. So, so we believe in a, in a, a nationwide, uh, from the ground up, um, sort of, I, I, a lot of people equate it to what we did in the Cold War with teaching the kids to get under, the, under their desks when they saw the flash. You know, it's a, it's a national campaign. This is something that affects everyone. It's so ingrained in all of our lives, and there's no going back now. Uh, so building in uh, from the ground up, you know, we teach our kids to look both ways before they cross the street, not to talk to strangers. Why aren't we teaching them proper um, cybersecurity skills and not to talk to strangers on the Internet? And what a stranger on the Internet actually is. They say they're your friend down the street, but are they really? <laughs> Right. Well, you know, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back from the break, I want to talk about the fun way that you're finding to spread education through this event that you've got coming up. So sit tight and you sit tight. We'll have more with Military Cyber Professional Association's Hack the Arch event after this break. That's a mouthful. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs>